Hey, Amen. Well, do you want to just give it a word? Just say, can you tell us that story about about that track that you got in London? Yeah, I was in London a couple of weeks ago with Jason Keenan and Michael. Uh, and we were out at Speaker's Corner. And uh, there was a lady there, I didn't realise who it was out there. But it was the same lady. Uh, it was the first gospel track I ever got, I think. The first gospel track yeah, was, I was in London to Palm Square and uh, I was working down there as an industrial cleaner and there was a lady shouting read your bible and how she saw me I don't know but uh, as I came to her left she handed out a gospel track and I picked it up. That's the first ever gospel track I can record ever having. Uh, I seen it in London but uh, I thought it was here but I didn't really ask her. But I'm sure it was it. Yeah. His first real contact with the gospel. Yeah. Uh, my dad was a Catholic. Um, I never really heard him mention repentance for the remission of sins. I never really heard him advising me to read the Bible. I can't ever recall him telling me that I was a sinner, but didn't repent of my sins. I'd be going to hell. That was the first real contact I had with the gospel and I had with Christ. Can you give any advice for any any of our brothers, a few of our brothers who, who and sisters who are helping us, are going through trials? Have you any thought to encourage them to any of our? Put your trust in Jesus. It's not of ourselves. God save a fly. I say this to people. We're not capable of saving ourselves. It's, it's Christ Jesus. I'm more contented than I've ever been since I've been with Christ. Um, you could put all the money in the world in front of me and I'll do exactly what the Lord said. I'll give it to the poor. It's just things. Yeah. yeah. You know? Amen. Amen. Alright. God bless you, bro. God bless you, bro.